Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 2, Summer 2018, Question 4. We want to show that the sum from r equals 1 to 16 of 3 plus 5r plus 2 to the power of r is equal 131,798. So if we're trying to sum an expression with separate terms in it, such as in this one, we can split it up into the sums of those terms added separately. So we can now do the sum from 1 to 16 of 3. So there's no r in this, so it's just going to be 3 16 times, which is 48. Our second sum is 5r. So this is going to be 5 times 1 plus 5 times 2 plus 5 times 3. So 5, 10, 15 and so on. So that's an arithmetic sequence, beginning at 5, increasing by 5 each time. So we can use our sum for arithmetic sequences formula with n equals 16, because there are 16 terms. Our first term a is 5, and our difference d is also 5. Putting those numbers in gives us 16 over 2 times 2 times 5 plus 16 minus 1 times 5 equal to 8 times 85 which is 680. Now our final one, the 2 to the power of r, so this is going to be 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3, and so on, or 2, 4, 8, 16. So this is a geometric sequence, so we're going to use our formula for summing a geometric sequence. Our first term a would be 2, the common ratio r is also 2, and n is again 16. So using our formula it gives us 2, times 1 minus 2 to the power of 16 all over 1 minus 2 which is 2 times minus 65,535 all over minus 1 which is 131,070 so our final answer is those three separate answers put together which is 131,798 as required For part two, we've got a sequence, u1, u2, u3, defined by un plus 1 is equal to 1 over un, and u1 is equal to 2 thirds. Using this, we're going to find the exact value of the sum from r is 1 to 100 of ur. So our first term, u1, is 2 over 3, as we've been told. Using our formula for un plus 1, we can see that u2 is going to equal 1 over 2 thirds, which is 3 over 2. u3 would equal 1 over this, so back to 2 thirds again. u4 is 1 over that, which is 3 over 2, etc. So we can see that our sequence is just flipping between 2 over 3 and 3 over 2. So if we're going all the way up to u100, half of those terms would be 2 thirds, half of those terms would be 3 over 2, so the value of our sum to 100 is going to be 50 times 2 thirds plus 50 times 3 over 2, which is equal to 325 over 3. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.